If you've ever been hospitalized, you know how much follow-up care is needed to recover completely. Homeless people face those challenges and more when they're sick. But now, for the first time in the San Fernando Valley, an organization is building a health center to help address those needs. When Lisa Soames was homeless, rough conditions led to 30 hospitalizations in three years. A lot of it had to do with dehydration, the heat, I had pancreatitis, a lot of it, you know. On the streets, she'd end up sick again. They let you out sometimes at three in the morning. You don't know where to go, you're up. They give you a pain shot, they let you out. She wasn't the only one trapped in this endless cycle. Each year, about a thousand homeless people are discharged from San Fernando Valley hospitals, many of them with no place to go. And it just is not dignified to take a homeless person that might still be in a gown from a hospital and dump them back on the street. And so we're working to solve that problem here in the Valley. Now construction is underway in this first of its kind 16,000 square foot facility that will offer physical, mental and transitional care for the homeless. CEO Ken Kraft gave us an exclusive look. He says hope for the valley will fill a desperate need. Other recuperative centers require clients to be ambulatory, but Hope of the Valley will take patients who aren't. Kaiser Permanente Woodland Hills is one of 17 local hospitals who will send their patients here. This is really the first big facility that I'm aware of in the San Fernando Valley that's going to provide this type of service. This is the day room where they'll have computers and counselors to help them find jobs and housing specialists to help them find homes because the hope is after they leave this place this will be the last time they'll need homeless services. We will work and do everything within our power to place them into permanent housing. Among its many services, the 30-bed center will offer skilled nursing care, a full-service cafeteria and dining hall, wound care and physical therapy. Lisa has been off the streets for a year, but she knows the many people she left behind can truly benefit from a place like this. Once operational, area hospitals will pay for their homeless patients to come to the Hope of the Valley. Experts estimate recuperative care is one-tenth the cost of patients staying in the hospital, but they need private donations to cover other costs. Well, you've probably heard about studies that show married people are the happiest, but today,